the format of being robot. I've always loved playing video games, especially ones for computers. My favorite kinds of computer games would have to be those old computer games, that you can get for pretty cheap. However, there's this one game that I've played, that someone anonymous sent me, that I wish I'd never played ever in my life. One day, I was just browsing archive.org, searching for some old PC games that I could play. I found some random games, like Quake, Doom, A Call of Duty Demo, 3D Pinball Space Cadet from Windows XP, and other old Windows games. Later, I decided to check my email, to see what kinds of random crap I would get. Some of the emails I got, were news about some websites I registered to, some spam emails from a bunch of nobody people, and all that jazz, but there was one email I saw, that caught my eye. The sender's name was just a jumble of random symbols, and the subject line simply read, my game. Thinking that it was some sort of spam, I was about to send the email to the trash folder, but then I thought, maybe this might be one of my friends just sending me a game they'd worked on? So I opened the email, and it read. Check out my game. No need to download, I have already put it on your desktop. Don't tell anybody, it's a surprise. That last bit seemed a bit odd to me. What sort of surprise could this game offer? Who knows? Suddenly, a program appeared on my desktop in no time whatsoever. I looked at my desktop, and saw that it was a simulator type game. This made me pretty happy, as I loved these kinds of games. The icon was of a pixelated fire truck, with the file name being, Fire Truck Simulator. So I double-clicked the program, and it opened a window, showing a pretty basic-looking main menu screen. There were three buttons, New Game, Full Screen Mode, and Quit. I went ahead and clicked Full Screen, and then started the game. The game looked like an old top-down game. From what I can remember, you were supposed to drive the fire truck down the road, avoid the cars that were driving down the road, and safely get to your destination. The bar at the bottom, showed how close I was to my destination, and it had a pretty well animated flame. As soon as I was just starting off playing, and getting used to the keyboard controls, a car crashed into the fire truck, resulting in the screen cutting to black, followed by a blue screen of death. What was strange was that I was running a Windows 10 computer, and the blue screen of death that appeared was the Windows 7 blue screen of death. It stayed on screen for about a few seconds, before cutting back to the main menu of the game. The new game button was replaced with a try again button. I gave the game another go, and what seemed a bit strange was that the game had a red tint to it, making the fire truck appear in a jet black color. I just shrugged it off, and played the game. Again, I tried moving to the left, and another purple car decided to screw me over. The screen cut to black once again, with the same blue screen of death following it, but for a split second, it changed to have the same red tint. The game started, without going to the main menu, and this time, the only thing that was visible was the fire truck, which was now colored into colors, red and black. The cars were no longer visible, except for their headlights, which seemed to make the game more challenging, but I knew how to play the game now. I dodged the ghost cars without any problems, and as soon as I reached my destination, the screen cut to black for the third time. At this point, I was expecting the fucking blue screen to pop up any second, but instead a loud distorted static sound played, followed by some random images with random filters thrown on them. The images ranged from a faraway shot of a lake, a countryside of some sort, a small abandoned building, and a close-up of the same lake but, with a big piece of scrap metal in it. The game crashed with a runtime error message, followed by a message letting me know that the program was not responding. Another message appeared, letting me know that my computer was about to shut down in a few seconds. By that point, I was freaked out. What kind of fire truck simulation game did this guy send me? My computer quickly restarted, showing the usual Windows 10 boot screen, but after about a couple seconds, the screen flickered black, and then showed the Windows logo, with the same red tint as before, when I played that game. The login screen appeared, but what was strange was that when I clicked to unlock the computer, it took a while for the computer to load. It eventually finished loading, allowing me to enter my password and log in. 
My desktop was the same as before, but after a few seconds, a window filled my screen. It read, Do you want to perish? And it gave me the choice of yes or no. In the background, there was some sort of high pitch beep, a rumbling noise, and a text-to-speech voice whispering something, but I couldn't understand what it said. I tried to click no, but every time I clicked it, it kept on moving around. So I clicked yes, and a message appeared in green, which read, You are brave. The message box changed to black, followed by a message in red text. It read, Death is already behind you. At this point, I sat still in my chair, not wanting to turn around. My computer once again restarted by itself, and ten minutes later, the login screen appeared, but instead of loading one of the present backgrounds, the background was a dark red. My username is now changed, and it read, I like you, and my profile image was just a green circle. My password was left untouched, though I hoped to god the game didn't do anything suspicious to my computer. As soon as I logged in, my desktop was pitch black, no taskbar, and with only one program, which was the user directory. It read the same thing as on the login screen. My computer quickly shuts down, and restarts with the usual Windows 10 boot screen. This time however, the logo wasn't in an eerie red tint. It was completely fine. The computer booted up normally, and the login screen appeared to look the same as how it was before. Present background, my username, and my profile image. I was glad that my computer was back to normal, but I felt it was about time I deleted that game that the guy put on my computer. When I logged in, my desktop looked the same as how it was when the game was first put on my computer, except the file name for the game was now Play Again. There's no way in hell I was playing that dude's game again, so I dropped the file into my recycle bin and emptied it. After I deleted the file, it appeared back on my desktop like nothing happened. What the hell is going on, I asked myself. Whatever was going on, there was still no way I was playing that game again. I tried putting the game back into the recycle bin, but before I could delete it, the fucking thing popped right out of there. Was someone hacking my computer, and forcing me to play the game again? I hoped not. I felt that there was one more thing to do, and that was to use File Shredder, and delete the file that way. So I opened up the Start menu, started File Shredder, and then dropped the file into the program. I then proceeded to shred it. At first, I thought it had worked, but guess what? Yep, the godforsaken program was back on my desktop. I was already getting fed up with this, so I messed around with the settings on my file shredder, and tried shredding the file again, but surprise surprise, it was back on my desktop for the umpteenth time. I knew that my PC was being hacked, as a program can simply and delete itself like that. I didn't even think it was possible. I guess I can't delete it, I guess this person sent me this, really wants me to play again. It's currently 9.57pm right now, as I'm typing this, and I've tried many things in order to delete the game, but it won't stop appearing. I guess there's no other choice, but to play the game again, but I must warn you. If you get an email from someone, with a bunch of random symbols for a name, and it says something along the lines of my game, don't even open it. If you dare open it, then it's best you don't play the game. I think I hear someone banging at my door, and I seem to be hearing a faint whisper. It sounded like it's saying... Don't tell anybody. It's a surprise.